Hi Pink Villa, I'm Neha Bhaseen. Welcome to my closet, my vanity room. So this is my place, something that I call, you know, my Barbie room. And uh, we're going to start with the favorite section of my room, which is my holy shrine. Shoes. So as you can see, I definitely love shoes. And uh, I think shoes are a passion with me. It's not, it's not one of those stories where I walked in Bombay with one pair of shoes and today I have hundreds. I had a fetish, if you want to call it, for shoes. Even when I was 16, I bought my first pair of heels with the first competition I uh, won. And my father called them atrocious. So I also have a unique taste in shoes because I like unique shoes. Like for me, I won't just pick up everything. For me, these are like little awards that I've accumulated over the years. So, this, I love all of them. They're like little babies, so I can't choose one. But this is one of my favorite um, line of shoes. Uh, these are all loops, not all of them, but barring these two, these are all loops, uh, Christian Louboutins as we call them. And I have to say a little story before I start. I was in Dubai and uh, I wanted my first pair of loops and my friend Gunjan, he dissuaded me saying how can you spend so much money on shoes and I actually came back and donated that money to some, some NGO I believed in and after a year I bought my first pair on 50% off <laughs> so I decided to get two of them. So this was my first loops as you can see they've been worn a lot. Uh, I think I saw JLo wear them at one of the Grammys and I was like I gotta have them, I gotta have them, I gotta have them and I, I got my first pair. These are crazy, I've only worn them once and I wonder why. Look at the heel, oh my god. I have to say one thing about lubes. They are the most beautiful pair of shoes uh, which are the most uncomfortable. So I've kind of stopped buying them but I still love them. I have a thing for rivets, these are called rivets. These, these spikes are called rivets and uh, I love them. I also have a thing for cleaning my shoes. I have a thing like I, whenever I have time, I just, I actually do that. You can ask my friends. I make coffee and I'm like, I have to do something. So I start cleaning my shoes. This is not a worn pair yet. It's a Jimmy Choo and I bought it in Bombay and I love the color and I hope I get to wear it soon. I don't plan my shoes. My, my friends, my stylists get very angry with me. They say that, you buy shoes, you don't buy blacks, you don't buy neutrals and then we don't have clothes to match your shoes but I don't care, I love shoes. These are new Jimmy shoes as well. They're golden, they're beautiful and they're comfortable. Okay, before I go any further, I have to tell you about my Milan loot. Uh, I went to Milan and I, it was like going to heaven. And <laughs> these are some of my favorite DNGs. Very comfortable, very beautiful. I welcome them home. Whenever I buy shoes, I welcome them home. From the same loot, I bought these. These are Salvatores. I have a bow. And uh, this is Vivian Westwood and they have collaborated uh, since a while with a brand called Melissa. And these are fragrant shoes. And actually when I walk into a mall, I can smell these shoes from a mile away. Like I know, I'm like a dog, I'm like, Melissa's are somewhere, Melissa's are somewhere. So I have a line of Melissa's. Uh, this is Melissa, but this is not Vivian Westwood. This is Carl. I can never pronounce his full name. It's Melissa and Carl. And uh, these are again Melissa and Vivian Westwood. Um, beautiful DNGs, again Milan loot. Beautiful red. You can pair them with anything. <gasps> oh my God, you have to see these. Like, this is a whimsical buy, I've only worn it once because they don't go with anything, but like, just look at them. They're like my cavalry dream come true. Okay, what else? Uh, never buy these lubes, but they look so hot that you have to just endure the pain. I, I went for Zee Cine Awards, I won my, uh, the award for Jagghumia and um, my designer literally begged me, she said, just for one day can you endure the pain and I wore this. It looks stunning, but it's a whimsical buy. I bought these in Las Vegas. These are Roberto Cavalli's and uh, they're beautiful. Yeah. So there are many, many, many more. There are some boots on top. I have some gum boots. I think we should have a minute to talk about gum boots in Bombay. These are diesels. 
and they are atrocious in my dad's language but I love them. Oh, Milan Lute, Roberto Cavalli, beautiful again but only for winter and I'm going to end my shoe section with a shoe I've never worn but it's st 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 stunning. It's a denim thigh high boot like you don't need to wear clothes with it. No, you need to wear clothes because in India people get very angry when you don't wear clothes but how stunning. I bought this in Paris. It's no real brand. It's just like from one of those local shops but I'm looking for a moment to wear them. So the whole point of a walk-in closet was to be very organized and to make sure that I know where all my stuff is. This is a vintage piece. Uh, it's actually an old piece which a friend of mine revamped for me. It was brown in color, then it was pink and now it's white because it's matching with my vintage room. I like hats, I don't get to wear them very often. And I have a few bags, I'm not a very bag person but I do have a few designer, a few non-designer bags and a few hair bands because I used to have short hair. So I'll take you through my hats first. Uh, these are just a few hats that I picked up along the way. I used to have short hair so then at that time I used to wear these. And. Uh, I think this one is Calvin Klein. I bought it in New York. It's a woolen hat like for the winter. Then I have my dreams of going for the races which I've never been to. Ta -da! This is from New Orleans by the way. New Orleans is like a vintage hub and I love vintage fashion. So a lot of these I bought um, in New Orleans. And uh, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy... I think I bought this in Bali, never worn it. And believe me, this was before Gaga was in the business. This is like at least 10 years old. Never worn it because I know how Indians are going to laugh at me. Maybe someday. And... Uh, love this. I wore this when I was proposed to. Can you imagine how fashionable? I think this was the first designer bag. It's, it looks like somebody punched it, sorry. But uh, this was the first designer bag that I ever bought. Gucci and uh, it was on a massive sale at the airport, the Bangkok airport and I was like why not, let's try it. I try to avoid leather as much as I can. I'm a vegetarian and an animal lover so I try to go for a bag which has more canvas. And I think probably one of the reasons why I try to go for vegetarian brands for shoes as much as I can and bags. Actually I think this was my, sorry, I think this was my first designer bag. It's a juicy couture bag. I bought it on my first trip to New York. They're really like all used bags, so they don't look as great right now. Oh! This is a vegetarian bag. Love Mushkino. This I bought in Bangkok many years back. And... Uh, Japan. So this is my little rack here. I also feel it adds to the appeal of my room. I think when you're making a walk-in closet, it's very important to have a theme to your to everything so that it also looks cute because when stuff is out on display, it can look really ugly if you don't keep it nicely. A tip. So I'm not a very jewellery person, but I have a few really yummy neck pieces which I end up going to when I want to pair something. I think I already have very coloured hair, I like bright lipsticks and stuff, so I just tone down on, on the jewellery unless it's diamonds. I like diamonds. So I'm going to show you some fun stuff. Walk in. I went crazy in Japan because Japan, I think, has some of the best fashion in the world. So this is a yummy neck piece that I bought from there. And it has a matching handcuff. Really nice. I think I bought this from a store called The Source in Bandra. It's, by the way, everybody's go-to store when you want something quickly. I like metal. Never worn, but I love it. I thought I was going to wear it at my wedding, but I didn't. Really nice. Very goth. Kinky but cute. <laughs> I wore this recently for one of my interviews. I like it. So yeah, these are some of the pieces that I have. All these drawers have some random stuff which I still need to... Some more boots, some belts, sunglasses. Oh, sunglasses. By the way, sunglasses are my favourite accessories. Do you want to have a look at some of them? Let's go. To maintain sunglasses in the open is, I think, one of the biggest nightmares, more than shoes. 
So let me start with one of my newest pairs. Jimmy Choo's is now, by the way, making sunglasses as well. And these are hot. I'm Bond, James Bond. So I love, love, love these. I've been asked to only show a few. Actually, I haven't, but let's see. <laughs> DNGs, absolutely stunning. Printed. Mew Mew. Another Mew Mews. They've come up with these new things. I mean, this is not a new pair of sunglasses where they don't have rims like right at the top and I love them. I think sunglasses for me are definitely my favorite, favorite go-to thing. Like if you're just wearing a pair of jeans and t-shirt and you're, you're not in a very glam mood, if you wear a nice pair of sunglasses, it kind of ups the fashion quotient by 100%. These are these new uh, brand. It's, it's called Italia Independent. These are handmade sunglasses from Italy. Not many people know about them, but I really love them. Milan Loot DNGs. Absolutely stunning. When my friends uh, come here, we play sunglasses, sunglasses. Look, we play sunglasses, sunglasses. Khelte. I bought these in Venice. Mark Jacobs. Beautiful. And. I've discovered these new sunglasses which are very popular on the internet. They're called Kue Australia. Of course, the customs loot you in India and you have to pay like as much custom on as much as these cost. I'm trying to be rude here, but yeah. Anyway, so these are Kue sunglasses. They're Kue Australia and I think they are amazing and they're not very expensive. I have a thing for uh, glasses as well. Like I don't have a number, DNGs, when I'm in a I'm really serious mood, I'm sexy, I wear these. And uh, there are a few, a few of those. Nice, okay. These were a gift, Versace, on my birthday. So thank you everybody for coming for my closet tour and I gave you as much sneak peek as I could into my little haven here. So if you like this video then please share with all your girlfriends and boyfriends, why not? And uh, like, comment, be nice and please subscribe to Pink Villa.